Before we fully begin solving FTE problems, we need to make sure that you understand the difference between absolute and adjusted FTE values as well as relief workers. The next two videos in our series will help explain them. FTE values are utilized by management for many different job related activities including staffing needs and payroll calculations. While FTEs can be difficult to understand on their own, things can become even more confusing when the terms absolute FTEs and adjusted FTEs are thrown into the mix. And then add relief workers into the equation and many times what you are presented with seems overwhelming. Have no fear, for we will work through these terms using a straightforward restaurant example so you will have a very solid understanding of each term and how they relate to one another. You are starting a restaurant that serves lunch and dinner six days per week. To avoid too much detail, let's just say that you have determined that you need 80 worker hours per day. Based upon the need to cover 80 hours per day, what is the weekly FTE count? Do not forget, as explained in the previous video, an FTE is equal to 40 hours work within a 7 day work week unless otherwise stated. Your restaurant is open 6 days per week, so how does the 7 day rule affect this? Well, we need to calculate the FTE value based upon the number of days that the organization requires workers to be present during the week. Since the business is open 6 days per week, we will be calculating our values based upon the number 6 instead of 7. The seven day work week just represents the longest work week possible and will be a common value for operations such as a hospital. Just remember that for any work schedule that is shorter than seven days, such as a five or six day work week, and you have been given the daily FTE requirement, calculate your absolute FTEs based upon the number of days that you actually need employees. Okay. We need to figure out how many FTEs are needed given a six day work week and the total employee hourly requirements based upon the daily need. To calculate this value, multiply the daily hourly requirement by the number of days that you are open. 80 hours are required per day times six days per week equals 480 total employee hours needed for the week. By dividing the total need by what an FTE represents, we can attain the FTE value. 480 divided by 40 equals 12 FTEs needed. Ask yourself, what type of FTE did we just solve for? Absolute or adjusted? We just solved for the absolute FTEs. The absolute FTE value represents the minimum number of hours needed to fully staff your organization. Now, what happens when an employee wants to use earned vacation time to take a few days off? If you allow it, you need to cover that individual's workload, otherwise their tasks will not be completed. This is where adjusted FTEs come in, and that is the topic of our next video. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network, LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution, in full or in part, for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network, LLC, is prohibited. All rights reserved.